The pie slicing problem is really just a problem about cutting a circle or even um, another region into smaller regions or smaller shapes. Okay, the first fact is every time a new line is drawn, a new region can be created each time it intersects a new object. Now, the, the key there is the new object because one of the objects, a circle, it always intersects twice, but it's only going to create one region when it intersects a circle. So you can see when I draw one line across a circle, I take one region, I intersect it, the, line with the, ob the circle with the line, and I create two regions. If I were to do it again, so you can think about it this way, um, one line uh, is equal to two regions. So if you can put one line on there, you can get two regions created. If I create another line, I intersect the one object, which is the circle, and the other object, which is the line. So I've created two new regions. Every time I intersect a, a new line with two, two, a new object, I create a new region. And so now two lines give me three regions, or four regions, because I created two new ones and I had two. And now you can start seeing a pattern. The pattern is when I draw in the third line, the three three lines just gives you, well, the new line intersected the two old lines in the circle, which means I created three new regions, so four plus three is seven regions. And so there's a nice pattern that develops, and that is uh, you're adding two and then you're adding three, and then you're adding four, and you're adding five, and you're adding six, and so on and so forth. So, if I, on my example, what is the maximum number of pieces of pie that can be created using seven cuts? That's just doing this problem. We already know the first three, so if the third cut gives us seven pieces, the fourth cut intersects the three lines that are already there in the new circle, so we add four to get eleven. And then the fifth cut is going to get us five more, which is going to be 16 regions. So for, for five cuts, we're going to have 16 regions. For six cuts, we can get 22 regions. And finally, for seven cuts, 22 plus 7 is 29 regions. So for uh, seven cuts, the maximum number of pieces is 29. You can keep going to get 11. And so you're going to add 8 to 29 to get 37. Add 9 to 37 to get 46 add 10 to get 56, and then add 11 to get 67. And so for 11 cuts, you're going to have 67 regions. It actually does turn out to be um, triangular numbers. Uh, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45 are all triangular numbers. And so it's always one more than the associated um, triangular number. Uh, is another way to get it. So 11 is the fourth triangular number plus 1. That's why it's four cuts. So the pattern is the best way to solve those problems uh, and get to an answer.